Emma, help me to pull these weeds. Oh, Emma, oh. Mm. My great grandfather, an emancipated slave, taught 63 years. Okay. And I have his name. Emma, what's harder than two grown men? Oh, Emma, oh. You turn Here's the thing. Uh, you have to know what you were put on this earth for. And there are different things as we go through life that maybe at this time in my life, I'm supposed to be doing this. At that time in my life, I was supposed to be doing that. I was satisfied that I was doing what I was doing, but I was put on this earth to teach. That's why I'm here. Dr. Saul E. Langster II has already done enough to fill five lifetimes. In order to bring the attention of the nation to this whole issue in Selma, Alabama, he was one of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s foot soldiers in Selma, Alabama, leading student marches that helped dramatically change the course of American history, earning him a Congressional Gold Medal. He served in Vietnam, was the first black firefighter in Compton, California, and attained the highest rank as a police detective. In Compton, 70,000 people live with a crime. But for all that, his passion is teaching criminal justice. Right now, I'm teaching for the fifth time in the last two years, I'm teaching gangs in America. It's really one of my favorite courses because I have lots of familiarity with gangs coming from Compton because that's where, that's where my roots in law enforcement are in Compton. The Criminal Justice Administration at National University is unbelievable. You know, it's a windfall for anyone who wants to go into law enforcement, who wants to go into probation, anything, anything along those lines. And even if you have uh, already have a major in something else, a psychology or a major in science or whatever, it's always great to get a criminal justice major, a criminal justice degree. You might ask how National University was so fortunate as to acquire the services of someone of the historic stature of Dr. Langster. But this humble man will tell you it was meant to be. And his feet were set on this path, even if not by his own choice, back in Selma after one of those famous marches. Four days into our jail stay, we decided to go on a fast. And we didn't eat anything. So three days later, three days and three nights later, they finally took us to trial at nine o'clock at night and released us on the condition that after graduation, we would leave within 24 hours, we would get out of Selma. So that's how I came to California.